Yo, what's going on guys? DJ Hats here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys another Top 5 Tuesday video. And in this video, I will bring you guys my top five pairs of sneakers that I would like in my collection that I do not currently have. And basically, this is a suggestion from you guys. So shout out to you guys that suggested this video. If you guys want to uh, suggest other future Top 5 videos, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Also, hit me up on Twitter and let me know your guys' thoughts. Uh, but, uh, but this one I thought would be a fun one. I want to start off by saying that I'm not going to cover these ones because these ones are... Uh, ones that I think everybody would want in their collection. The M&M 2s, um, the M&M 4s, and then the Undefeated 4s. I think it goes without saying all of these shoes right here are just super sick. And it's definitely ones that we would like to have. But the price points are kind of crazy. And unless Jordan Brand does the unthinkable and actually releases them, then there's pretty much no chance that we're actually going to be able to own them. Um, I don't think that they'll actually end up re-releasing re them though. I don't know. if they. Do, I mean, nothing's safe as we've seen. Those, those are not safe. The Tokyo's aren't safe. I mean, they could be re-released at any given time. So, but let's get into my top five. So, um, basically number five is the Air Jordan 13 and fives from the, uh, Ben collection. The Ben collection was a series of Jordans that they released, I think five models in total. And the price points were, I don't even know, I think 170, but they were like not too ex crazy expensive. They had, uh, wooden inserts in the shoes and they're super premium materials. And I struck out on every single pair that released. I just didn't have any connects uh, to be able to get them. And, uh, you know, I didn't know any retailers in Oregon that actually had them. So I missed out. This is my favorite colorway, though, the 13s. Uh, oddly, because it's not my favorite model of the um, Ben series, but the colorway is just super sick the way they, they made it. And then also the 5 is just super, super dope. It's kind of like the metallic 5s, but premium material is just really, really nice. I know I could probably end up just buying them and putting them in my collection, but... Um, these are just the ones that I don't have in my collection currently. Uh, moving on to number four, this is going to be kind of an interesting one for you guys, but the um, the Galaxy um, uh, KD4s, for some reason, these are ones that I really wanted in my collection. I didn't really love the KD4s, but it is my favorite probably as, as well as everybody's KD model. Uh, but the KD4 Galaxies was the one that uh, I did not get out of the pack. I do have the Kobe's and the LeBron's and then the Galaxy Foams. But I did not get these ones, and I just loved the colorway of these, as well as the fact that the pack uh, glowed in the dark. Um, also, just an, another one throwing them out there. I mean, you might as well, right? If you're going to hope and dream for some of these, the Nerfs would have been one that was super sick, too. That was one that when I first saw the images, sometimes you see a pair of sneakers and you the first image that drops, you're like, I need that shoe. That's the That was my feeling for this shoe as well. Uh, but, of course, like they, they were just super limited. And I love the idea that it came with... The backboard um, and everything it was just like a really dope concept and if you guys don't know like I mean like us probably older people maybe maybe they have younger like versions now but you'd, you'd hang them on your door and it was like a little nerf uh, thing and we would we would hoop inside you know on rainy days and stuff which in Oregon it rained a lot so that's kind of the way it was um, another one number three on the list these ones right here um, the mocha air Jordan threes these ones are just a pair of Jordan 3s that I've always liked. I love the colorways, and Jordan Brand doesn't do it too much with like browns and whatnot in their sneakers. So it was just a colorway that I thought was done really well, and it was just one that I, I never got um, back in the day. So hopefully we'll actually see a retro of them uh, eventually. That would be really dope uh, to actually see. Um, and then moving on uh, to the, I guess this is the number one spot, no, the number two spot, um, is the... Uh, the Dornbecker Boomers, the number ones, and also the uh, the number twos. So I have all of the Jordan Dornbeckers except for the Jordan ones and the twos. Uh, the twos, I honestly do not remember when they released. I believe this was the first one that, that dropped out of the group. And then the, the ones, I remember when these ones dropped and I tried to get these online, but I had no luck. And I didn't realize back then that there was no line at like Nike Portland. And I probably would have been able to flourish and get a pair, if not two, at Nike Portland I was trying on the internet though and at that time I just didn't know what I was doing so um, real unfortunate but I definitely wanted both of those in the collection so the number one spot goes to a pair of sneakers that actually never got a public release so it's not really fair to put it on my list but um, it is the uh, Oregon State Jordan 9s this is a pair of sneakers that I believe was for the football team and uh, so it was like the Oregon Ducks they usually do a like you know the Oregon Duck 3s or the uh, the pick crews you know or the the 4s or the fights for the basketball team and so on they had so many different versions of the Oregon duck versions of things but this year they made an Oregon duck i believe and 
these ones for Oregon State and it has the Oregon State logo uh, on them as well and it was just one of those shoes that it would have been dope to be able to actually get in my size um, but I mean they went to the players and they never really like released so uh, kind of crazy I, it would be cool if, if Nike actually released like some sort of stuff like this but they did that with the anthracite um, nines and they didn't sell out like those were like a pretty bad release this last year so it is what it is but um, let's uh, let's let you guys leave some comments now and let me know what you guys would like to uh, put in your guys's collection what's a pair of shoes that is just maybe it's an everyday shoe maybe it's a GR uh, it doesn't have to be the most expensive shoe obviously I, I try to make that clear from the beginning uh, but um, but just name some shoes that you guys would like in your guys's collection that uh, that you guys just missed out on and just ones that you want to get back in your collection it could be uh, the grape fives that released the other year it could be cement fours that released this year whatever it might be curious to see what you guys missed out on it doesn't have to be a grail but just one where aesthetically you looked at the shoe you didn't maybe know much about it when it released and then but you just knew you liked it you didn't know there was so much hype behind the shoe and it sold out you lost your opportunity and you never really went back and tried to scoop up the shoe that's kind of the situation for these shoes that i just listed but hopefully you guys like this uh, video I, I'm not doing too much editing over it and I'm just kind of doing the face-to-face -face video and if you guys do I'm gonna can try to continue to doing these on Tuesdays so it can stop shocking people every single Tuesday and I see the comments that say Hess is Asian what the heck uh, but yeah yeah it is what it is um, and if you hear the snoring in the back uh, the dogs are upstairs you know just hanging out so it is kind of uh, you know they, they make a little bit of noise thank you guys for watching hope you guys have a good rest of the day we'll catch you guys for some more videos soon peace guys